Hey guys, welcome to the Kellogg YouTube Garden Channel. I am so excited to have you. My name is Brigitte. I'm the owner of San Diego Seed Company and I'm gonna give you a garden tour. We're gonna to talk about what we have in our garden, why I'm growing it, some fun things that I'm really excited about, and just give you a sense of what our tiny little urban farm looks like. So come on with me. So we're in almost May, so the height of spring, and you can see we have tons of flowers blooming on the farm. This year, we really focused on planting lots of flowers because we expanded our flower seed collection. And I just, I love flowers and sometimes veggies take over my whole space. And I realized I need to give more space and energy to flowers on my farm. So here's some of my favorites. This is scabiosa. There's tons of different types of scabiosa and I love it because it's got this beautiful little fluffy flower. It grows so wild and crazy and it really makes a great cup flower. And the best part is insects love it. You will see tons of bees and pollinators landing on these blooms. You just, you really can't beat it. It's super easy to start from seed very easy to transplant and again it comes in tons of different colors and different bloom shapes so this is scabiosa another one that i'm really excited about is a good old-fashioned wildflower my mom grew in her garden my grandma grew in her garden and i've overlooked it for years and not anymore this is bachelor button also known as cornflower it's a really neat super easy to grow flower and you can see also bees love it comes in tons of different colors so I've got more corn flower. I basically have flowers lining my garden because it's good for the pollinators. This is another really pretty scabiosa. This is our black knight scabiosa. This one's already flowered, but these are gonna bloom and it's a dark, beautiful purple. Tons of nasturtium. This just volunteers on the, our farm. It's super easy. I've got peppers already in. So our peppers just went in. You can tell they're super tiny, but as soon as we start warming up, they'll really pop. Same thing with our Tomatoes, we got our lucid gem tomatoes in and they're, they're a little slow growing right now because we're still cold at night, but as soon as we start warming up, they'll just blow up. So we've got some cherry tomatoes here that we have on just a really easy put together trellis. Because these are cherry tomatoes, they don't get that heavy. I didn't put a lot of energy into that trellising system. You'll notice that the lucid gems though, they're going on our low and lean method. That's because they get really big, heavy, and I wanna keep them up off the ground and well pruned. So as you can tell, tons of flowers all over. We have our flax that's going to seed here. So this needs to get harvested. You can hear the rattle. There's beautiful seeds in there. Those will get harvested, cleaned, and put into seed packs and sold in our online store in the coming weeks. We have tons of work to do, obviously. Okay, and here we've got our melons. Super excited, these are Kajari melons, one of our favorite melons. We're gonna be growing those out, uh, both for enjoying and also to save some seed from those guys. You can see that we've got them crammed in there pretty close. That's because Kajari melons are pretty small plants. And so you don't need a big amount of space like you do with like watermelons. We've got more flowers here. We have up, up here, we've got our sweet peas that are going to seed. So all this will be for seed production. We've got tons of, of pods on here that'll be ready in the coming weeks. Once these guys are dry, we'll be able to pop the seeds out of there and save those. More cornflower, more cilantro going to seed. We've got poppies. The garden is really looking amazing right now. And what are some of the things I need to be doing in the future? Well, I've already planted most of my warm season crops, but I need to continue to start my seeds for warm season crops so that I have plants ready for succession planting. So even though every single row of my garden is planted out, I have tons of work in the greenhouse that I have to do to always have plants ready. When these putter out, I'm just gonna put new plants in over and over, all the way until almost November because we stay warm for so long. So that's what's going on in our spring garden. I hope you guys like the content. Make sure you hit the like button. And if you wanna see more from us, hit the subscribe button.